How is it going, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Rookie cornerback Jalen Johnson is currently third in the league in passes defended, but does that type of number put him in the conversation for the Defensive Rookie of the Year award? Today, we're going to be discussing whether or not Jalen Johnson has a shot at winning that prestigious award in episode number 91 of Uncut. Welcome back to the show, guys. I would like to start this one off by saying thank you guys so much, everyone on YouTube, for 3,000 subscribers. Our growth in 2020 has been incredible. Jalen said it a couple of episodes ago. It hasn't been a good 2020 for most people on this planet, but for us here at Bear Down, it's been a great year. We're super appreciative of your guys' support, and we would be nowhere without you guys. So thank you very much for 3,000. I'm your host, Chris Malpe, and today to talk about some star rookies on the Bears, more specifically the second-round pick out of Utah, I am joined with both of my co-hosts, Parsh Shaw and Jalen McClinton. How's it going, guys? Doing pretty good. Uh, I just came back from a little house shopping, I guess you could say, and I went to go check out some houses here in Indiana to maybe rent out possibly next year. So that was kind of cool. I literally just woke up like an hour ago. Uh, <laughs> wow, it's late. <laughs> yeah, um, I stayed up all night doing nothing. But uh, other than that, I'm cool. You know, I might sound a little tired, but let's talk some Bears football. 100%. Jalen Johnson has allowed the lowest completion percentage amongst any rookie cornerbacks. Uh, 50% completion percentage is what he has allowed. It has been quite the year for him. Uh, you know, obviously taking a look at some of his stats, a little bit more broken down. He is currently allowing the second lowest completion percentage in the league, only behind Kyle Fuller, and is also third in the league in passes defended with nine. So I want to start here. I mean, obviously, Parth and Jalen, we went back and forth and back and forth all offseason talking about whether Johnson was going to start or it was going to be Kevin Tolliver. It obviously ended up being Jalen Johnson. So, Jalen, I want to pass it to you first. You were someone that supported Kevin Tolliver coming into the season. Obviously, that didn't work out. But how do you think the rookie has played so far? What have you thought about how he has done? Uh, through, this is week eight, right? Seven. Uh, week seven. So, through six weeks, he's played extremely well. You know, he probably only had one bad game, and that was last week against uh, DJ Moore and uh, Robbie Anderson. You know, they, they caught him on a couple deep balls. But other than that, he's like I said before, he's played extremely well. Him and Kyle Filler are probably one of the best quarterback duels in the entire league. Uh, like you said, he's uh, third, second or third in pass deflections. So, I'm extremely excited and happy for how he's been performing lately, especially without any rookie main camp or OTAs. And he just basically came into training camp, which was also delayed and he, on a shoulder injury. So, he's played extremely well, you know, um, other, other, than, other than one bad game, which I expect from a rookie going up, going up against top talent like that, like Robbie Anderson and DJ Moore. Um, you know, I couldn't be, I couldn't, you know, have no, no problem. Yeah, I couldn't be happier with him either, if I'm being completely honest. I do think that he faced his toughest task so far in Week 6, but he still had an incredible start to his first season. I mean, taking a look at some of the wide receivers he's had to go up against just in the beginning of his career, I think he's done a pretty damn good job. Uh, I mean, I think Calvin Ridley and maybe Mike Evans tested him a, a, a bit more in limited action, but Johnson has had a standout rookie season and his work against a very good wide receiver in DJ Moore, I don't think should uh, go unnoticed whatsoever. So I think he's got a good start to the season. It's only going to get tougher for him as the road moves on. Obviously, Cooper Cup, uh, Robert Woods this week, maybe a little bit of Michael Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders next week, depending on whether or not Sanders is off the reserve COVID-19 list that he was just put on. But Jalen Johnson, I think he's had an incredible start to the season, and we'll get uh, we'll get into it later, but I definitely think his name should be brought up when thinking about the defensive rookie of the year. Parth, I want to pass it to you. Jalen Johnson, 21 tackles. It's still looking for his first interception on the season, but he is very high in the passes defended category in regards to rookie cornerbacks and all eligible cornerbacks in the National Football League. How do you think he's played so far? He's doing really well. Uh, you know, we've seen him do really well so far, despite no rookie mini camp or training camp. But he's done really well, especially as a rookie. Like Jalen said, uh, he, he's he's been impressive so far. Uh, here's and six cornerbacks were taken in front of him. That's something to think about. Um, you know, the Bears got lucky with Jalen Johnson, you know, falling to us in the second round. He was insulted by the six corners going in front of him, and we see why he was insulted. I mean, he is definitely the best corner in the draft. 
In my opinion, he's playing like a top 10 corner in the NFL right now. Through week six, he's only allowed a 47% completion percentage and an 82.7 passer rating, which is making him the best of his draft class so far. Uh, he's been super impressive to start off the season. And he hasn't had the interception yet, but he has had two assisted interceptions. I mean, you could say like last week against Carolina, was it the second play of the game? He tipped the ball right into Deshaun Gibson. And then I forgot who it was against, but Kyle, he also tipped the ball right into Kyle Fuller's hands late in the game one week. So he's been impressive. He's there when when the team needs him. It's been impressive to see him um, so far this year, and I think he's only going to get better as he gets more time in the NFL. Yeah, Jalen Johnson had the 17th best odds to win the Defensive Rookie of the Year award coming into the season, and that's based off of, uh, I believe, Odd Shark, which is a, a pretty popular betting website. He was below a lot of other cornerbacks, you know, guys like Jeff Okuda, guys like CJ Henderson, other guys in the secondary obviously isn't playing like uh, Xavier McKinney. So it's been quite the start for Jalen Johnson's rookie year. And I think we've all been pretty impressed. I mean, I don't know if you could name many rookies that have played better than him so far this season. So Parth, I want to pass it back to you. Obviously, we're only through week six of the season. There's going to be a ton of tough tasks moving forward, but we've seen other cornerbacks who are rookies kind of fall off. I mean, we've seen Jalen, I would say Ben, but not break, but we've seen guys like CJ Henderson fall off a little bit. Jeff Okuda's had a really tough start in the league. Uh, So I want to ask you, do you think that Jalen Johnson has a legitimate shot at winning defensive rookie of the year this year? I think it helps by having such a great supporting system. You know, our front seven is elite. Our linebackers, Mm -hmm. You know, we got Roquan Smith, who's an elite linebacker, in my opinion. And then we have guys like Eddie Jackson and Deshaun Gibson to help him out. And Kyle Fuller, another all-pro cornerback right across from him. So that helps him out a lot. So that's why I think he has a really good chance to just keep playing well. Uh, he doesn't have to do too much like we've seen so far. He, he he just has to play dominant defense, which he has been. I think he has a fair shot at winning the Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, and I think he'll still get better as time goes on. I don't think he falls off anytime soon. I think you meant Defensive Rookie of the Year because you said Player of the Year. But yeah, no yeah. worries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got no it. No worries. Uh, Chase Young uh, leads the way still as a plus 250 favorite to win the Defensive Rookie of the Year award, followed by Isaiah Simmons and Patrick Queen. But, you know, taking a look at who I would say is probably playing the best out of rookies, I would probably go three cornerbacks or uh, three players in the secondary. Uh, I would go Jalen Johnson, and I would probably go Colts rookie safety uh, Julian Blackman. And then the Buccaneers, we, we all know the name. Um, Antoine Winfield Jr. And then Jeremy Chin's also been pretty good. But I think Jalen Johnson, you mentioned it, has a very good supporting cast in Chicago, which I think helps bolster his chances. Uh, A lot of people online are saying, well, he doesn't deserve to get put this high because he has such a great supporting cast. But he had to come in and start week one and take over a lot of responsibility in Chicago. And I think he's done a very good job at playing up to a Bears defense type level. I mean, we never know what would have happened with Tolliver, but I'm very ecstatic with with how Johnson's played so far, and I think he definitely should be considered for this award, uh, plain and simple. I think he's played pretty good. I think maybe getting a couple of interceptions down the road could definitely help him out a lot, but for now, I, I think he definitely should be in the conversation, and we'll see how his play continues to excel throughout the season. So, Jalen, I want to pass it back to you now. Jalen Johnson has had a very good rookie year, There are a lot of other rookies having good rookie years. Like I said, Julian Blackman, Antoine Winfield, Chase Young's played well when he's had opportunities, Jeremy Chin. So do you think Jalen Johnson has a legitimate shot at winning the Defensive Rookie of the Year award? Uh, Of course I I think he has a shot. He's playing extremely well. You know, he might be playing like a top 20 corner already. So um, if he can, um, like, if the season ended today, I don't think he would, uh, you know, even be in top three of consideration just because he doesn't have the turnovers. Like, he doesn't have any uh, interceptions yet. So if he starts to get interceptions in these in these next couple games or until the season ends, he, that, that, uh, that chance is going to increase by more because it's showing on the stats. You know, him just getting pass deflections or shutting down receivers like really isn't going to show, um, you know, so like a, like a, even though Jeff Okuda is not playing better than him, like he has an interception on the season and CJ Henderson, Julian Blackman has too. Uh, Jeremy Chin, he's, he's making a lot of tackles, getting a lot of tackles for us. And he has an interception on Nick Foles. So um, a lot of these defensive players that are, might be considered ha- con- or have a better shot at him, have a lot of stats, you know, Antoine Winfield, he, he just won defensive player there. Uh, or defensive rookie of the month. You know, he has a lot of tackles. He has a lot of uh, – he has a couple sacks, forced fumbles here and there. So, uh, once Jalen starts putting up st- uh, stats like that that goes on, you know, like st- stats 
Uh, I don't think <laughs> his chance is, is very huge. So yeah, um, but I definitely think he has a chance. He's playing very well. Um, he, you know, he has the pass deflections, but if it was. If I'd rather have him have nine interceptions than nine pass deflections. True, true. Yeah, true and he's had some opportunities to get those interceptions down the road. But one more question before we close this one out. We know he probably had his roughest outing last week against uh, DJ Moore, who's had a pretty good year. You know, six receptions, 474 yards, and a touchdown for the Carolina Panthers. But he did have five receptions for 93 yards, no scores, but he caught 45% of his passes, which is right around the amount that Jalen's giving up, which is still a pretty good percentage. But we did see DJ Moore have 18.6 yards per reception in week six. You know, I think Jalen Johnson's ahead of the of the learning curve, but I think we're still going to see teams continue to attack him down the road. I think we can expect to see it on Monday Night Football on October 26th against the Los Angeles Rams. But Parth, I want to ask you, do you think – he will continue trending downwards as much as I hate to say that, or do you think he'll be able to bounce back and hopefully improve down the road? I think this is another tough game for him. Uh, it's going to be difficult to bounce back against this Rams wide receiver group. Uh, you know, they got great studs on that team, but I, I could see him having a great week. I think it's just going to be a normal week for him. Uh, the way he's been playing, I'm not, I'm never going to doubt Jalen Johnson or Kyle Fuller. It's You got to throw to one guy. So seeing Jalen get picked on for a week wasn't that big of a deal to me. But, you know, we, we might see Kyle Fuller get picked on here and there. Every guy has a bad game. Uh, it happens to the best of us. But I, I see him break, coming back stronger this week. Yeah, I got to go ahead and agree with you. You know, I don't think we can knock Jalen Johnson for having a bad game in his sixth game of his NFL career as a rookie, as the starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears. I think he's done an incredible job so far. I think we continue to see him hopefully put up good numbers throughout the rest of the year. Sure, teams might pick on him but I do think he's only going to improve down the road, and I think he's going to be great once we look back on this pick in a couple of years. So, Jalen, I'm going to pass it back to you. Jalen Johnson had a tough go last week, but he still has had a very good season. Do you think it's going to continue to trend downwards, or do you think he'll bring it back up to a higher level of play? I think he's going to continue playing how, how he was playing before the Carolina Panther game. It's not like uh, he was going up against Bun Rider series. You know, in his first week, he went up against Marvin Jones. And yeah, he got trucked, but at the end of the game, when it mattered, he, he uh, you know, deflected the ball to win us the game after coming back. So he's played a lot of good receivers uh, so far. He's played Calvin Ridley. I know Calvin Ridley had a huge game, but that just wasn't against Jalen Johnson. He went up uh, also against Kyle Fuller. That The whole secondary that day for uh, for us against Calvin Ridley was bad, but he played Mike Evans. You know, he did give up a touchdown to him, but he only held him to like 46 yards or, or something around there. And I, I, I know I'm missing some receivers here and there, but uh, he's been playing extremely well. You know, one bad game as a rookie is not – not gonna change my decisions at all. He's gonna play terrible for the rest of the season. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna say he, he goes back to his own ways and playing um, very good. Jalen Johnson has had a very good rookie season so far, and he's going to look to continue his rookie campaign against the Los Angeles Rams in week seven. Thank you guys so much for tuning into episode number 91. We're getting real close to 100 of Bear Down Uncut. If you want more content from us, you can head over to our website, beardown.com. We're posting columns, articles, and blogs every day over there, getting you guys ready for the week seven matchup between the Bears and the Rams. Definitely a big one. We're giving away an Anthony Miller signed mini helmet on social media. That giveaway is free to enter, so if you would like to enter it and haven't already done so, you can find us on Instagram and Twitter at Bear Down. And finally, you can find the links to all of our Instagram and Twitter pages down in the description. Check out, uh, check all those out. Those are definitely some great ways to interact with us. Parshaw, Jalen McClinton, we're getting close to game time, but I think we're all pretty impressed with how Jalen Johnson has played so far this season. Any last words? Uh, yeah, we're getting close to a lot of game times. Uh, so I'm, I go to college in Indiana, and so we're kicking off our season tomorrow, which is going to be exciting. Uh, I'm excited to go, see, maybe go watch that game. Uh, they're not allowing fans just yet, so that sucks. But yeah, Hey, go uh, Iowa Hawkeyes, baby. I go to <laughs> college in Indiana too, but my parents both went to Iowa. so Yeah, so Big Ten football's back, which is fun. Uh, we have UFC 254 tomorrow as well. That's Woo! Football, football, oh, yeah. all day, football all day Sunday, and then Bears on Monday. So it's a loaded weekend. It's going to be a fun one. I'm excited for this. And don't forget about the MLB World Series as well. Yeah, a lot going on right now. Yeah, a lot going on right now. All right, Gio, any last words? Uh, For you guys, it's going to be an amazing weekend for me. I'm just going to be like sitting here doing nothing because I don't really watch college football like that or or baseball. So I'm I'm basically just waiting until Sunday and then on Monday for us. But um, I'm probably going to go eat. Like I just said, I woke up less than an hour ago. So I'm tired. 
um, hungry. So, uh, yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Bear down. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. If you would like more Bears content, do us a favor to everyone watching this on YouTube right now. If you made it this far, subscribe and do us a favor and drop a like. It's been a pleasure to be your host once again. My name is Chris Malpe. We will continue to be back throughout the week with so much new content, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. It's been a pleasure to be your host, and we'll see you guys in the next one. As always, stay safe and bear down. See ya.